and welcome to the third day of the Backyard Cricket England opening test match between Alex's 11 and Dan's 11 at the Bromley Indoor Tennis Centre in Kent. The story of this game so far, an astonishing collapse from Alex's 11 in the evening session yesterday. They started it 48 runs ahead on first innings, but finished it 73 for 7. A remarkable performance from Dan's team, aided by some sloppy dismissals. A lot of pressure on the shoulders of Alex's best batsman, Ricky Borat, to try and turn this game around. Let's go straight to the action for the start of day three. 17 overs gone. A brilliant, brilliant test match we've had here. Right throughout this game, it's been next to impossible to know who's in front. And then when a team has got their nose ahead, they've immediately been pegged back. And this is better than Dan's 11 could ever have hoped for. 74 for 7. Oh, nicked. Oh, no. Lance short. Don't think you can really pin any blame on Mears behind the stumps there. It would have been incredible if he got a hand to that, but it landed just short of slip. And Borat plays the same shot and gets a very, very different result this time. First boundary for him. Yeah, he's played that well. Murphy at point didn't stand much of a chance there. That flashed past him. Ricky Borat came in at number four. And... Having been joined by the number nine, he's just got his first boundary away. Sam Dennis now. Just him and Dan Mears left in this rotation. So he saved two of his strong bowlers for the end here. Need to get Borat out. And you feel Dennis is a good player to have bowling in this situation at Ricky Borat. Like we said earlier, he has been very inventive, come up with new ideas. He is not going to let this game drift, Sam Dennis. He won't let Ricky Borat have an easy time of it. Oh, he's given him a lollipop. Saw him by one of them at Smith earlier on. And he's been punished by Borat here. Got right hold of that. Trying something different, Dennis, but that's too short. Blasted for six. Dennis to Borat. And he's had a go at it again. I think that's what he was trying to do with the first bouncer that was wided. Get him cramped up. Get him flashing. You know Borat will play the pull shot and play the hook shot. He won't shy away from it. Dennis trying to bring the top edge into play. And again, but Borat gets his one down. Wins that battle, Ricky Borat. That was good cricket from both there. It was good cricket from Sam Dennis. Had a clear plan and stuck to it. But Ricky Borat got the better of him. So good cricket from both. Got right over the top of that, Borat. Almost a swat. But those runs could be important. The lead of 141. And in the space of one over, this game looks a little different now. Mears to Maguire. Needs to make a breakthrough. New, ro bowl uh, new bowling rotation after this over, so we can get his front liners back on. But you'd feel Mears would desperately want to make a breakthrough now and get Maguire out. But he starts with a boundary. Didn't look overly comfortable there, Maguire. I think it was a bit of a one-handed flick at it, but he's picked a gap. Most important thing, four runs, and he's off the mark. Played that nicely. That was a confident stroke for Maguire. His great skill, James Maguire, is that he plays the situation that he's in. Clever cricketer. Very quick to realise what's needed of him with bat and ball in any situation, and sticks to it. And he knows his job here is just to stay there, just to keep Borat company for as long as possible. Doesn't matter how you do it, doesn't have to look pretty, just stay there. And for Mears, his job, get him out. He's not been able to do so up to now in this over. Couple of deliveries left. That's a loose one. Got to give him something to play at. And he hasn't done there, he'll be disappointed Mears. Rushed that over a little bit. Really got through that one quickly. And they really need him to turn it on now. Oh, that's a brilliant shot. That's four. Uh, interesting that he's given this. I think that did come off the boot of the umpire. And I think that's what Dan Mears is saying to Maguire there. That it should be a dead ball. I think it's hit the umpire. Yeah, it's flicked off his boot. We should see from this angle whether it's had any effect. Well, you can see the fielders wouldn't have gotten near it anyway. So maybe that's why the umpire is 
felt a little generous and a bit lenient, but technically I think that should be a dead ball. That's a poor delivery from Safia. Maguire doing an excellent job so far. Showed a lot of courage and fortitude. Stood up to the task so far. Played for the team, played for his partner. 100 up for Alex's team. That's going to be another wide, another poor delivery. This has been a really disappointing over from Safia. Mears will have expected better from his best bowler with a new ball, relying on him to make a breakthrough. And he's been a bit sloppy. Extras up to 38. And we said that that could be a difference maker. 54 in the first innings, 38 here. And they've seen off Safia. And I think it's going to be Mears again. Captain's going to take control of this now. Partnership 33 and becoming an irritant. A big irritant. And Mears has said enough is enough. Trusts himself to make the breakthrough. Needs to deliver for his side here. They have got to get a wicket sooner rather than later. Mears to Borat. Down leg side. If they could get Borat, that would be the perfect scenario. But at the moment, they'll take any wicket no matter how it comes. This partnership has taken a bit of sting out of the game. The pair of these two have been excellent. There's an appeal. Mears doesn't look too enthusiastic about it. Don't think he's hit it. Half appeal from Mears and Crowther behind the stumps. Not much from anybody else. Discussing it with the umpire though. In again to Ricky Borat. And he's got a thick edge on that for four. Valuable, valuable runs. Didn't time it well. Didn't go where he intended, but valuable. Just started to turn the tide now. Partnership is 39. Gurpal Singh, the next man to try and break through. Dot ball. Well, this is becoming vital now for Alex's 11, this partnership. Every run counting, and those will count some. That's six. Lovely shot from Maguire. Beautiful piece of timing. Just got underneath it. Got it on the middle of the bat. Straight over the top. He's hit that wonderfully. Almost chipped it. Half volley. Brilliant stroke. He's up to 14 of the most valuable runs you could imagine. This has been outstanding from both of these two. Partnership up to 45. They have really turned this game on its head. Last wicket fell in the 16th over. And we're halfway through the 23rd now. Big frustration for Dan's team. That's uh, again not making him play. That's another over that goes by. 118 for seven. Brilliant from these two. And who's next? It looks like it's going to be Sharif again. Been decent again today, Sharif. Made one breakthrough, but they've needed more from him. A lot of strain on the better bowlers from Dan's 11, especially with Safia having an off day. That's down Lakeside. Too many of those as well. There's been far too many deliveries that Alex's team haven't had to play at, particularly in this partnership. Sharif in again. Oh, and that's silly from Gurpal Singh, and that'll be a single. Just some signs of frustration in the field now. They weren't taking the run. There was no need for him to hurl it in like that. Even off the stumps, they might have gotten an overthrow anyway. Poor bit of cricket. And they take it this time. Good running that time. Decent arm from Stevens, But sensed that it was going to his weaker right-hand side. So took the chance. Just some signs of frustration in the field, though, for Dan's team. Just some signs that some heads have started to drop. And ah, good again. Testing Singh, but he's home. Looking for another. Good piece of running again. Three successive singles. Will irritate Yusuf Sharif. It will irritate Dan Mears. Fielders needing on their toes. Good batting from these two. Excellent partnership batting. And Sharif to Maguire. In the air. They're calling through for another. Slow to get going, Maguire. And now they'll take the single. 
And again, some sloppiness from Dan's 11. Nobody backing up. Wheels starting to come off, it seems, here a little bit. This partnership really sucking the life out of Dan's team. Very good running from these two. And we'll have a look at that again. Tiffin initially bore it back and off the stumps. Nobody backing it up. And an easy single. It's a bit of sloppy cricket from Dan's team. The kind of thing you start to see when heads have dropped and spirits have dampened a bit. It may well be the case for them here. And will they run this one? No. Sensible. Well, a good over that for Alex's team. Those four singles almost mean more than a boundary would have done. Just to upset the fielders a little bit more. Really smart cricket from these two. Partnership 49, and it has the feel of a match-winning one about it now. Left alone. Too short again. It's been a trend for Stevens in this test match. Economical, but too short to really be too threatening. And too wide on that occasion as well. Two balls in this over. Two that Maguire hasn't had to play at. A little microcosm of what the problems have been in the last 20 minutes or so. And again, another loose delivery. And that does bring up the 50 partnership. Brilliant from these two. Borat, not looked his fluent best, but he's dug in, fought for every ball, fought for every run, played for his team. And a word on James Maguire. How good has he been? Showed here why Alex Smith was so desperate to pick him in selection. Maybe he doesn't have the raw talent that his brother has. But he has shown character and courage in abundance in this innings. And he has that priceless, valuable knack of being able to produce his best in the key moments. And that's what he's done here. Struggled with the bat last year. Got a duck in the first innings here. But when the team has needed him most, he's dug through. The 50 partnership between these two has been absolutely excellent. And has the feel of a partnership that is proving decisive. Already an air around this ground that this partnership is a match winning one. Dan's team have gone flat and these two absolutely outstanding. And it's Murphy now. Hoping for anything now. Dan's team, a little sense that they might have run out of ideas here. Just too many loose deliveries have allowed this partnership to settle. And that's four. Down the ground. Borat finds his timing. And what's been good about this partnership is they've taken pressure off each other. In the times when Borat has been fluent and free scoring, Maguire has dug in and given him what he needed, a stable partner at the other end. But what's been great about this innings from Maguire is that when Borat has been struggling and has been tied down, Maguire has picked off the odd boundary to keep the pressure on and take the pressure off his partner. And the result is what we're seeing here. Ricky Borat is just starting to cut loose. Two fours in this over already. Just signs now that Ricky Borat is looking to motor on a little bit and really nail home the advantage. He's starting to take this game away. Job's not quite done yet. Dan's 11 with some quick wickets would still feel they can chase this target. But these boundaries are going to help. And the quicker they get them, the more it'll suck the wind out of Dan's team. This is really good batting. We'll have a look at those three boundaries again from Borat in that over. Drill down the ground. Flick off the legs. Brilliant placement there. And then this is a drag down from Murphy that gets the treatment. Brilliant from Ricky Borat. These two really taking control of this game. And it's up to Bijal Patel now. Only himself, Harvey Tiffin and James Crowther left in this rotation. So as has been the case in this innings, Mears using his best bowlers when Borat is on strike. And Patel has been one of his better ones today. Two for seven. The early dismissal of Smith and then removed Ewan and McGregor in the middle of all that carnage earlier on when Alex's 11 were losing a wicket every over, it seemed. Oh, and that's sloppy again. Wheels really starting to come off for Dan's team now. Heads down. Very quiet in the field now. And this is a symptom of where they feel the game is at now. Very, very poor from Dennis, who's been good in the field up to now. He's been energetic. But this partnership has just sucked the air out of them. That's a good bit of running. Another single. And that brings up 70 deliveries since the last wicket. 70 deliveries, this partnership, which is now 70. Run a ball. 
Oh, he sliced it. It's in the air and he's caught it. Well, it's a good catch low down from Sam Dennis. Makes up for his mistake earlier in the over. Bijal Patel has another wicket. That's the end of a brilliant partnership. James Maguire goes. But what a hand he's played here. Good catch that from Dennis. Well, it won't look outstanding on a scorecard, 16. But that, in the context of this match, is a priceless knock. Well played, James Maguire. The partnership 70 at the most valuable time. And Jake Butler's the new man. And what a position this is for him. Free swinging player. And if he can rattle off two or three boundaries here, it will just be the, uh, the icing on the cake for Alex's team. The lead is 191. They'll want that over 200. Borat eyeing a 50. And Jake Butler, a bit of freedom for him here to come in and play his natural game. And when he gets going, he's a fabulous watch. A note as well about Bijal Patel. Look at those figures. Three for 12 amid the carnage. He has been excellent. Really good from him, his career best figures. Full toss, oh and it's bowled him. Well that's a bit of a disappointment, a bit of a whimper from Jake Butler. His second duck of the match, he follows Nav Saeed in picking up a pair. Full toss and he's just missed it completely. Don't think it's done too much, I think he's just played inside of it. Poor dismissal from Butler. But the good news for Alex is 11, like we mentioned earlier, there is a last man standing, which means they do have to dismiss Ricky Borrett to end this innings down, Mears. And with Borrett eyeing a 50 and the lead at 191, he'll be feeling that if he can hang around and get sort of 15 or 20 more at least here, then that will turn a probable win into an almost certain victory. Good bowling from Bijal Patel. Best figures in this test match now. First player of the series to get a forfeit. And deserves it. He's been good. Four for 12 represents an excellent effort. Some good wickets among those two. Smith at the top. McGregor. Maguire to break the partnership. And then not making a fuss of Jake Butler. Would have been incredibly annoying for Dan Mears if Butler had got going and rattled a few boundaries away. So that is a little bit of a boost. But a lot of concentration needed here. They've still got to get rid of Borat, and that's another boundary for him. Flicked off the legs. Loose delivery. I don't think he middled it, Borat. But there is a big gap on that leg side. And James Crowther, the last bowler in this rotation before the frontliners can come back on. Just him and Harvey Tiffin left. Can Borat cash in on the part-timer? Did pick up a wicket earlier on. Nav Saeed from an awful lazy stroke down the leg side at a time when it looked like Alex's 11 were throwing this game down the toilet and where's that that's four picked the gap really really well there Borat that's nicely played got hold of it Sam Dennis in close at square leg he's picked the gap between him and mid wicket and we are back onto a new bowling rotation, so it'll be Alvin Safia. Not his finest day with the ball, and that has been a big problem for Dan's team. He was brilliant in the first innings, but he struggled here. And that became important when the partnership between Borat and Maguire got going. They would have been relying on Safia to do the job there. Has he hit that? Don't think so. No appeal from the bowler. Umpire indicates it came off probably the knee. But a good start to this over from Safia. And again, Borat lets it hit him. This is better from Safia. Possibly a little too late. And he'll run a bite. Easy to do now for Ricky Borat. Anything that goes through the wicketkeeper, you can run because they'll have to throw the full length of the pitch to run him out. Have to throw to his end, the bowler's end. And that's what we're seeing again here. Sloppy again from Dan's 11. Poor from Sam Dennis. No backing up as well from the fielders behind. All a little switched off now. And that's going to be four, and that's a 50. 
soaks in the applause of his teammates. That has been a fantastic effort from Ricky Borat. Very, very good. Half century. And without him, this match looks different. The partnership between him and Maguire, the match winning one. And it's Bijal Patel with a chance at a five for here. Well played, Ricky Borat. His fourth backyard 50 in four test matches. Brilliant run of form he's been on. That's good fielding from Mears. The captain's standard haven't dropped. Even if those of some of his teammates may have done. Brilliant from Borat. Where's that? That's straight to the fielder. Just some field adjustments for Patel here. Trying to work out how they get rid of the left hand up. Straight to the fielder again. Good fielding from Tiffin that time. Been brilliant here, Patel, but his biggest role is yet to come. He may be one of those that needs to put in a big performance to chase this down. Going to need over 200. Good ball. It's been a good over again from Bijal Patel. Just a single off it so far. But again, he's been disciplined. Again, he's been probing. And left alone again. Fifers in this format don't come around very often. We haven't yet seen one. Four for ten from Rob Maguire in the third test last year. The best figures we've seen in backyard cricket up to now. Patel has a chance of beating them here. If he can get this last wicket, and he can't. Get the single. Oh, and he's going to take another. Murphy not paying attention. And they're throwing again. He's gone again this as well. And it's all gotten a little bit village there. But Ricky Borat has got three off of that. Again, it's loose in the field. But it's clever from Ricky Borat. Aggressive from Ricky Borat. Excellent from him. And let's have a look at what he's done here while we wait for the new over. What a 50 this has been. Sit back and enjoy some of these. That was a misfield. Really, really good from Ricky Borat. Powerful, clever, picked his gaps. Noticeable in that compilation. Not many of those boundaries close to fielders. Placement has been very, very good. Excellent half century from him. The first half century of the 2021 series. And more to come yet. It's a bite. What can Yusuf Sharif produce? Dan's 11 will just be desperate for this to end now. Oh, and it may do there. Is that over the bounds? It is. And that ends a fabulous innings. Probably a match-winning innings. 162 all out. Brilliant from Ricky Borat. Yusuf Sharif has a well-deserved second wicket. And the target is going to be 211. So 211 the target, 162 the final score, an innings pretty much built around Ricky Borat and James Maguire, those two were excellent. And this is the state of the game, confirmation there, the target 2-1-1 to win, looks unlikely but miracles do happen. Join us for the fourth innings and we'll see how they get on.